What's up, everybody? It feels like it's been forever. It's Michael Geddes here. I just went to Second and Charles, and as you can see, I purchased 100 or more comics for just $50. And I had my special coupon, and I got my $5 off per usual. And I don't really ever know if I've noticed before, but at the bottom of the receipt, it actually says on your next purchase, you can get 10% off. So technically you could probably use both, but I'll, I'll try that next time. But I have never seen a hundred dollar or a hundred uh, or more comic box. And I've been going back to the store for kind of a while now, and they haven't had any boxes, any mystery boxes, except for strangely enough, these like Christmas bagged, boxes that you can basically see the comics inside of them and they're all like new 52 dc and another set of mystery boxes which are just these really shoddy looking boxes with it just looks like they stuffed the comics in there and i bought one and it was just a bunch of junk so i went in tonight and i saw this box and i'm like Fifty, but they didn't have any for twenty-five like they usually do. If you watch my channel, you know it's usually what I get is the twenty-five for fifty comics. No, they only had these hundred or more comics for fifty bucks, and I didn't know whether or not I really wanted to buy it. And I'm like, what do I do? You know, I, I honestly I've made a lot of money off this stuff, like not like a ton, but if I buy a box of twenty-five for for twenty-five bucks, I get the the, the coupon, I get the thing for like twenty-one dollars after tax. I usually wind up selling most of it and making my money back and more. This is a little bit different of a story. Um, I don't know what's in here. I'm kind of scared to find out. I'm hoping it's just not a bunch of uh, junk, um, but sometimes they really can be junk. So uh, I feel like you're, you're kind of taking a little bit more of a risk here, but just because I haven't gotten to do this in so long, I figured, you know, why not? Uh, it was closing time and the, the person was trying to push me out of the store, so. I said, okay, I'm gonna go for it. So this is my first 100 or more box of comics. And right out of the gate, um, it's, uh, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, number 50. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, no bag or board, but still something that's not um, an indie comic piece of junk from the 80s. Cool, Max Fury. Don't know much about this. Again, no bag or board. Heathcliff. That's cool. New stand cover. I always liked Heathcliff when I was a kid. This is number six. Star Comics. Or a part of Marvel, I believe. Special holiday edition. Ah! Oh, <laughs> X-Men number one. This must be one out of uh, eight million. <laughs> this is the Jim Lee extravaganza beautiful book i used to have this when i was a kid i've then sold all my copies uh nam number 13 the nam i've had a couple runs of this this is a this is a cool cover with the magenta grass the blue sky and the orange you got the it's a uh newsstand copy kind of cool justice league Parasite Unleashed, as seen on Cartoon Network. Justice League Unlimited. Uh, Legion of Superheroes, first issue. Ultimate Spider-Man, or sorry, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. Neato. That's cool, number two. That's awesome. That's a really cool cover. Something about when comics aren't in bags or boards. I'm always a little bit more intrigued. It's like you can pick it up and, and open it, you know? It, it's almost like you're using it for the actual function that it's meant to be versus um, having it in a bag and board and kept, kept away. Oh, Dragonlance, number 26. <laughs> this is in pretty beat condition. Um, looks like some water damage there. That's fun though, Dragonlance. I didn't know they had Dragonlance comics. I probably should have known they had Dragonlance comics. 
Uh, this is a, a, a Marvel Knights Fantastic Four. Um, and this thing is like, it looks like it took a bath at one point. Like, it looks like someone read this in the shower or something. Where it was like that in the Probably a good, may file that under T for trash. The Adventures of Superman, Reign of the Superman. This is after Superman died, I guess, and came back. Cool. We got a lot to go through here. It's probably pick it up a little bit. Turok, number 18. Again, looks as if it had a shower at one point in time. I hope the whole box isn't shower comics. Blue Beetle, number three. This character has been revived so many times. Another new 52, go figure. Blue Beetle. This is a cool book, Nightcrawler, number four. Little little beat there, guys. Blue Beetle number four. That's a cool cover. Blue Beetle five. Another chewed up copy. These are fun. Adventure Time number twenty five. Adventure Time number twenty four. These are nice. 26. Number six. Again, these look like they were, you know, owned by probably a kid if I had to take a guess. Here you go. You got some, uh, some Dell Tencent stuff. You got Walt Disney Comics and Stories. Got Huey, Dewey, and Louie there. That's kind of cool, right? And then you got uh, number 215 and 219. It's kind of cool. They got, uh, there's a stamp on here from where they were. It's a tea room. That's cool. These are in really good shape for Dell. Usually I get these things and they're just totally beat up. Donald Duck's awesome. There's a lot of comics in here. The, the box isn't completely full, in case you're wondering. Superman, New 52, number two. What would a mystery box from Second and Charles be without Superman, New 52, number three? Superman Unchained, the New 52. This must be a one-shot. Superman, New 52, number four. Superman Unchained, number two. Actually, wow, that's kind of cool. Full run of New 52 Superman. Rad. Still kind of chewed up, but I'm all right with that. That's cool. Those will go. People like those. Nightcrawler, number six. Nightcrawler, number one. Chris Claremont, that's fun. Nightcrawler, number five. Almost a full run there. That's rad. Thank you. Green Lantern special. I love the Green Lantern. Number one. Cool cover, right? That might go in my collection, honestly. That's awesome. Oh, nice. The Amazing World of Gumball, 2016 Grab Bag Special. This is another Kaboom comic. Did, did they know about like pixelation or was that intentional? Cause that, that's, those are some nasty looking lines there. I wouldn't have picked that, but I think, I guess that's part of the style. Blue Beetle, 28. All right, this is cool. This is kind of cool. Uh, Thor, number 280. This is in great shape, too. Wow, this is uh, 1978. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of that because I'm probably going to want it. But <laughs> Nova. Number four. This is this is fun. So we got Bronze Age in here, right? <laughs> How far away is that from 181? <laughs> Hulk 185. Oh my god. That's cool. That's a cool cover too. I'm happy with that. Oh, I love Iron Man, and here's some Iron Man. This is number 87. 
I never get these, so I'm pretty stoked about this. Tell me why every time there's an Iron Man cover, for the most part, he's always getting beat up by whoever the villain is. Like, I, I don't think I've ever seen a comic, an Iron Man comic, where he's actually, like, has the upper hand on the front of the comic. It always looks like he's in, in, in dire straits. That's awesome. I am so happy I got that. I hope there's more of these in here. That made my day. Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons, number four, cover B. That's rad. That's a really cool uh, cover. I know, right? Hurry up, Michael. Blue Beetle Rebirth, number one. You know, I think I got the full run of Blue Beetle in here. That's awesome, right? Number two. A little, little chewed up, but I mean, those who really want the Blue Beetle are gonna love that. I've got this one. I think I've sold like three of these already. Uh, number 73, Wolverine. I have a really big Wolverine collection. Uh, Avengers Assemble, season two. These are like the, I think the kid comic adventures, like the, the G-rated ones, not sure. Rom Free Comic Day. Daredevil, number nine, cool cover. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, number seven. Little spinal on these. Pokemon Pocket Comics. Free comic book day. They throw all the free comic book day stuff in here. It's it's a ruse. Teen Titans Go, free comic book day, number one. Scooby Doo, where are you? Oh, look at this. This is cool. Ultimate Spider Man, Spider Verse. I think that's Spider Man Noir. Awesome. This is kind of cool. Uh, Fantastic Four, number one, Marvel Now. Uh, number two, Marvel Now. More Adventure Time, number 21. These look like fun. I've never read them, but I really like the art on the cover. Number 22. Number 23. Batman Gotham Adventures, number 57. Cool roller cover there. Run, Robin, run. Nightcrawler. Banff. Number two. Digging that Nightcrawler stuff. All right, uh, Daredevil. Uh, cool sil Silver Surfer cover. It's too bad it's a little beat up though, but that's a really cool cover. Yep. Oh, no way, Batman 299. Oh man, I love old Batman comics. This thing's in pretty good shape, too. Wow. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> That's awesome. This is a good box, folks. Uh, Iron Man uh, 253. He's actually not getting beat up here, so I just had my foot in my mouth. But he looks worried, so I don't know if that counts for anything. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Clarence Quest, whatever. Looks like an Adventure Time deal. I had to laugh because I saw the next one. <laughs> He's getting beat up by Santa Claus. <laughs> oh. Marvel Adventures. Free comic book day. These things are really kind of like really used comics. Nova number three and Nova number one Marvel now. That's cool. They're they're not like in great shape or anything, but some people definitely want those. Uh, Spider-Verse number three. Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors. I guess these are from the, the movie. I'm not sure. Not the best condition on those. Free comic book day Captain America. Like I said, Quick, we're doing a mystery box. Throw all your free comic book day stuff in there. Pokemon, free comic book day. Uh, 
Uh, Avengers. Um, number 41. And Aquaman number 40. So they're they're putting the Marvel in here, folks. That's that's good news, because usually it's few and far between for Marvel. And, uh, superhero Girls. My daughter might really like this. She's five. This is something she would dig. We'll have to run that by her. Um, about halfway through here. So, um, New Superman. Rebirth, number one. Fun. That's that's cool. Number, I mean, it's a number one. Star Trek, the, the next generation. Uh, my buddy Mike up in Pennsylvania, if you're watching, there's your... Star Trek, this is a wild storm. Here's another free comic book day Pokemon. Star Trek, New, New Frontier, Double Time. Awesome. Justice League, uh, Rise and Fall, number 23. Iron Man, Tony Stark. This is uh, a little stress on the spine there. Halloween Comic Fest. This is cool. Um, Hero Zero, Dark Horse, week two. That's a cool cover. All new, all different Avengers, number one. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Here you go, Misty. Star Comics, number three. Martial Law, number three. Oh. <laughs> New Kids on the Block. Oh my God, it's a black and white comic of New Kids on the Block. And I don't know who they commissioned to draw these people. But there's no way I could argue that these are decent, right? Look at this. Look at, I mean, look at this guy. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> uh, that's worth its weight in gold. I'm going to bring that to work tomorrow and show everybody that. Fury number four. It's a lot of fun. Oh, cool. X-Men Magic 4-4. I hope they put the rest of those in here. I love magic. That's that's a really cool cover. That's awesome. Sp oh, Spider-Man 2 99 number 18. That's awesome. Uh Defenders of Dinatron City, number one. Nice. I don't remember that. Secret Wars number seven. I don't know if you ever read the, the first Beyonder. I got that one in a mystery box. I love that book. It's amazing. Secret War. I don't remember what number it is. Oh, cool name war with the, with the Iron Fist. American Flag number 18. I've heard really good things about this. First comics. I've never read it personally. Marvel Comics presents Wolverine, number 10, with Colossus. Nice. I wonder what the backup stories are on this. Uh, Moment of Silence. This looks like a 9-11 comic. Looks like the right time. Yeah, so leaving here is a September 11th. That's cool. Martial Law, number two. Uh, Jughead Diner. People love Archie Comics. People love Archie Comics. Every time I get them, I'm like, nobody's going to want this. And then people buy it immediately. It's like the first thing that goes. Archie, uh, if life followed TV commercials. That looks like fun. Um, I have a really nice copy of um, Pep. 
it, it's like a it's a it's a golden age book and i got it out of a lot and i held on to it and i realized the other day it's probably in 7-0 condition it's the nicest um it's one of the nicest uh golden age books i think i've ever seen captain america um september 1995 i think this is when they stopped putting oh yeah 443 Okay, Sectars, Warriors of Sibion. That's interesting, I've never heard of that before. Number eight, gosh, this is awesome. There's so much Marvel in here. Oh, uh, cool, uh, Duggernaut cover, The New Warriors, number 12. That's awesome. Uncanny X-Men 335. I have a huge Uncanny X-Men collection. I do not have this one, so that's cool. Superman Adventures, number 60. Elementals. I don't know. Oh, number three. I'm sorry, I gotta go back to this for a minute. Why would anybody pick this color scheme? I mean, this looks like an 80s book, but I mean, like this, like grayish 90s, 80s purple with this like cute green nightmare. It's nothing exciting about this cover at all. And I, like, I just now noticed that there's like this clay monster back here. I guess that's the earth elemental, I don't know. This is a cool cover. Like, if, if you saw this, like, drawn, just in ink, this this thing would be awesome because you get the white back here. But whoever colored this just, I mean, really dropped the ball. They should fire. They should have fired that person after that. Tomorrow nights. Same kind of thing. Not a good cover. Sorry I'm being so critical. I should just keep going. I don't really know how to draw, so I don't really know what I'm... I don't really, I don't really know where my criticism comes from. Nightwing, one thirty-three. Cool. Um, Sons of Anarchy, Boom Comics. That's a newer one, I guess. Uh, Spider-Man India. That's interesting. This is a fun cover. This is awesome. I know I shouldn't be looking through this, and you're probably falling asleep. This is dope. Um, I'll have to look at that later. Star Trek. IDW, number 56. Uh, My Danger. Oh, Techno, Techno Comics. Woof. Mutants. Epic Comics. Nightwing again, number 89. Gosh, these are a, there's a lot of comics in here. We're almost done. Nightwing, number 120. Uh, Teen Titans Go, another free comic. I think we got this one already in here. Robocop, boom, number one. Cool cover. Uh, Betty and Veronica, or Betty Diary. Betty's, Bet, Betty's Diary. I'll, I'll go with the rest of the Archie comics. Another Misty... Comic number six. Oh, cool. I remember those. Matt Balls. I had some of those. Oh. Oh. Wow. Um, I think these are worth money now. Um, this is a number one of Rand Stibby. It's still actually in the bag. So that's awesome. I think that might actually be the, um, crowd pleaser of the day. So this bag looks like the same comic over and over again, but let's find out. Um, not all robots. Uh, number five. Yeah, number four. So I guess we got the full set. Not all robots. Uh, three. Uh, number two, cool cover. And then number one. So that's cool. You know, whenever you get these runs, I mean, it, you usually sell them for 10 bucks. Um, 
Getting down to the end, uh, Firefly number 33. Never heard of that one. Boom Comics. I have another one of these. Um, I have the first, another number one. These are really rare, apparently. Number seven. Cool. Kamikaze 1946. Just a couple left here. World War II 1946. These are another, these are part of the Arctic Press. I think they're the same as these. I got a couple of those up right now. Power Rangers, number one, Boom Comics. Batman, number two. Um, oh, sweet. Simpsons Comics, Special Collector's Edition, number one. That's pretty awesome. I think these are worth something now, too. Um, and then, and these are Bongo Comics. This is number five. That's rad. And then the last two are Batman Adventures, number one, and Batman Adventures with a big thing here, number number one again. And that's it. And I tell you what, that was a refreshing, awesome box of comics that I didn't walk away feeling disappointed or bewildered. I don't think there's a lot in here that's worth too much, as far as I know. Um, I'm kind of enthralled with the fact that I got this Thor and this Iron Man and this Incredible Hulk. Like, this was totally worth it for me. These are all stuff I like. Those are all the stuff I like to collect these days. Lots of nice runs. Um, lots of nice, like, kind of... Um, just a good variety of stuff. Plenty of Marvel, plenty of DC. Yeah, man. Hey, if they're all like that at the store, I definitely would recommend a, a hundred... Uh, 100 bucks because uh, the 25s they've been hitting it lately but anyway I hope you all enjoyed that and maybe next time I'll do another one have a good night